Hi, in this video I want to show you how you can make these types of text animations in a completely procedural and reusable way with the new text nodes for geometry nodes in Blender 3.0. For that, let's go into the geometry nodes workspace. I'm gonna create a new node tree for this cube here. I'm gonna cut this link and instead I'm going to add a string to curves node there and I'm gonna plug the string input to a new input here so that we can use uh, the same geometry nodes node tree with different strings on different objects so let's enter something here okay so right now the text is just the silhouette it's empty so we need to fill the curves for that let's go to curve fill curve and if we want to give it some depth uh, unfortunately blender 3.0 doesn't have uh, extrude nodes or solidify nodes but we can do it with a solidify modifier as you can see it's not working right now and that's because um, the string to curves actually outputs instances and right now the solidify modifier isn't accepting instances so we need to realize those instances with a realize instances node so now it's working okay um, to control the effect I'm going to use the exposition of an empty compared to the exposition of each letter so for that let's add empty bring it to the node tree and to get the exposition of each letter I'm gonna use an input position node and use a vector separate XYZ the same here so I'm going to compare the X uh, channel of the locations of the letters and the empty for that let's add a sub math subtract node uh, by the way I am using node wrangler so for this situation you can control shift right click drag and get the math node again set it to subtract and since as I said these are instances to control the scale I'm gonna use a scale instances node okay so now if I plug this into the scale you see this get, we get this we need to clamp the values and control them more so for that I'm going to use a map range node leaving clamp on and now it's starting it's starting to look nice I'm gonna go ahead and open a timeline here and start adding some keyframes so I can easily preview the animation okay so to make it this more interesting I'm gonna add a bit of an overshoot and for that I'm going to use a float curve node which by default uh, it's clipping the values between 0 and 1 but for the overshoot I want to go over 1 so I'm going to change the max Y to 1.5 and I'm going to click here reset view so that it shows the whole range so now I can go over 1 here then maybe make it bounce a bit and finally end up in 1 okay it's a bit rough right now mm. I'm going to widen the range here in the map range node uh, the from range that makes the, the effect overlap more between the different letters and be more smooth so let's widen this range see how that looks okay yeah I like it more so let's add some rotation to this for that again instances rotate instances 
I'm gonna duplicate this float curve with Ctrl Shift D so that it preserves this link here. And I want to and rotate the letters along the C axis. Uh, so for that, I'm going to use a vector combined X Y C node connected to the rotation here, and plug this into the C axis of the combine. But as you can see the final rotation is not what we want that's because the float curve is ending up in 1 starting at 0 that's the opposite of what we want so I'm actually gonna reset this curve um, invert it like this so now it's looking better but I want to add some bounce to this at the end but for this bound, in this case, I want to go below zero. So again, I'm going to change the clipping, the minimum Y. I'm going to set it to minus 0.5. And again, reset the view so we can see the whole range. So now I can add a point here and bring it below zero so that they have this nice overshoot and you can play with this curve you can have more points uh, there's a lot of, of different effects you can do you can add more bounces so now if we want to reuse this it would be nice to be able to control it with different empties so I'm gonna plug this empty input to, to a new input here so now we can duplicate both the empty and the text and the new one is going to be pointing to the, the other empty so let's change this text some notes and uh, we can move this keyframe so that the animations start with an offset here I need to move this back a bit so that the it starts from zero okay so I think that's looking good um, I didn't go too much in depth on the way this is all working so if you have any questions please leave them in the comment and I will try to reply as best as I can hope you found this useful and thanks for watching